explain 8051 assembly language program to subtract the byte present in internal RAM location 34H and 35H and store the result in register R5 and in R6. So, the is same as previous program, addition of two numbers. So, I am going to modify the same addition program for a subtraction of program. So, write an ALP to add, you no, know, instead of add now, it will be for subtract. Okay. So, I am going to modify the same program now. Subtract the byte present in 34 and 35, store the result in register R5 and R6. Okay. So, I am going to save, file save as, I am going to give the file name as sub okay 8 bit dot asm file or uh, a51 is extension asm or a55 anyone you can write okay first move no, move or not with 34h because the uh, data are present in 34 and 35h so take the content of 34h to accumulator increment or not so r not is now r not is now uh, 35 and 35 content is taken to this now instead of add now you have to give sub for in the 8051 okay instruction for subtraction is subb okay, not only sub it is subb subtract with borrow is there so it is going to perform a minus b and uh, then if you want to uh, store directly the answer you can skip these two no need to type these two lines okay directly store the result into accumulator from the accumulator move it to r5 after that if there is a borrow you have taken then you have to move 0 ff okay in addition uh, you can give move at or not 0 1 in subtraction you have to move at or not 0 ff okay 0 x ff anything you can write so 0 x ff or FFH, anything you can think 0XFF is correct because subtraction means negative number if you have a borrow, so you have to note. So now this program is actually for show the answer in uh, both. Mm, if there is a carry, you have to decrement the uh, R6 also because. In uh, register R6, also you have to decrement R6. R6 initially 0 will be there. 0, if you subtract 1, it becomes 0 FF. Okay. So this part increment or not, more uh, or not means this is for to store the answer in, to store the answer in memory also. If you don't want, you can skip that. So now I will show both. Uh, first, I will show how to do this now. So I am going to remove this file. I am going to add the modified saved now. Add existing. I saved it as sub 8b. Right click on the source group, add existing file. Zero five one is you adding this file now. So now check the file build target. Now start debug. So it is going to perform A minus B. So 34 number will be higher number first case. So I am loading. Double click on this and store 96 and second number. Double click and change the value to 45. So 96 minus 45. 
answer should come here and borrow should come here and even in the registers R5 and R6 also you have to verify. So click register, take the first data in the accumulator A, second data in accumulator B, now sub SUBB, it is performed uh, 96 minus 45, answer is 51, so no borrow, so carry is not generated, so no borrow, so you have to move the answer in R5. So that's why I told don't write these two. If you are doing this program, so to store the answer in R5, no need to type these two lines. If you want to see the answer in the memory also, next location and this location, let include this. Move R5, comma A. So now from A, it should move to R5. So 51 difference is coming. And there is no borrow. No? So this R6 is 0 only because no borrow. So this is the output. Now, if with the borrow, I'll show one more. So restart. This is a restart button where you can give new data. So I'm giving here higher number 99. I will give 96 minus 99. What is the answer? Let us see. Uh, 96 in accumulator, 99 in B. After subtraction. Answer is FD. You can see an accumulator FD and borrow carry is also generated. Okay, that you can see here. The calculator. Go to hexadecimal. 96 minus 99. See, this is 8 bit now. So, FD is the answer is coming in uh, accumulator and FF should come because FF, F, FF, FF, FF is minus 1, FF, FD, FE is minus 2, FF, FD is minus 3. Okay. 0 minus 1 means FF, FF. Minus 1 means FFFE, minus 2 means FFFE, minus 3 means FFFD. So, F, FF and FD is the answer. So, you can see you have to move uh, R6, R5 should be FD and R should be FF. FD came, FD, FF is coming here. Okay. See here in the memory it is not coming. The memory it is not coming. If you want to include that also, then what you have to do is here increment or not, then whatever there in the difference here, no, that after increment or not, you have to move at R not comma A. So from the accumulator, it will move to the increment value of R not, which is the next location. And also you have to store the answer in R5 also. If there is no carry, uh, uh, just skip it. Otherwise, you have to decrement R6 means R6 initially it is 0, 0. Decrement means if it becomes FF. And you have to store uh, FF in uh, at R0. No? So you have to use move at R0 immediate value of FF. So this also you compile. Uh, start debug. and give the same data of 96 double click and 99 now you will get here uh, answer of calculator 96 minus 99 this answer fffd you are going to get in the locations also as well as in registers also fdff came here and here also you can check uh, here somewhere i think uh, move of after subtraction sub a comma b the answer will be an accumulator 
I increment or not from A it is moving to it should move to or not let me check once again reset this is the reset button we'll do move or not 34 increment or not 35 that value is taken to this subtract a minus b in a we have f d so increment or not 36 move at or not comma a from accumulator it should move to 36 location uh, now it is coming you can see fd came here after that also store it in r5 next check for carry borrow if it is a borrow definitely it is a borrow is there so you can see bar carry is there so decrement r6 r6 is actually No, it should be zero. Okay. So I think I continued the previous reset button. No, it is will having the same value. So I am going to what I am going to do is I will stop. Otherwise, you have to add one more instruction in the beginning only. Move R six is equal to here. You can add move R six is equal to zero zero. So that after decrement R6, it will come. Okay. Otherwise, for addition also, I told this is the option. If you want, you can use. Otherwise, by when you restart, automatically R register should come zero. But uh, once you modify and restart the program, previous value is actually not going to set to zero. So. Debug. Ninety six, sorry, ninety nine, ninety six minus ninety nine. I'll do same answer you should get. FD FD came here. Okay, after that. Oh, here I have to do one more increment because it is replacing the same value here. Once again, you have to increment, then you have to move. Okay, increment R not, then you have to move at R not with 0 FF. So, this is the code for storing the answer in uh, memory location as well as in the registers. So, now you are going to get correct answer. 96 99 you're going to get the answer fd and ff here first data is taken to accumulator second data is taken to b a minus b is fd and borrow is one carry is one borrow and carry both are same okay increment or not store the answer in a memory window one you can see again store the answer in r5 also so the answer in FD is the answer and check for carry. If there is no carry, go to exit. Now we actually carry is there. So you have to decrement R6. Initially R6 is loaded with 0, 0. So 0 is now decremented. So F it becomes it becomes F now. FF. And increment R0. Previously increment R0 was not there. That's why the FD was once again replaced by FF. So next increment R0 after that we are moving here. So 96 minus 99 is FD is the answer and borrow. So negative number is FFFD. So LSB is uh, here, MSB is here. Okay. Thank you. For addition also, same program, we can convert into addition also. What you have to change is add A comma B. Add means only A D D. For subtract S U B B. Two times V will come. For addition only a d d and here 
uh, instead of decrement r uh, instead of decrement r6 you have to do increment r6 inc r6 you have to do because you have to increment the carry by one and after that move at r not instead of ff you have to write 0 1 okay this you have to change one instead of decrement you change to increment instead of sub you give it add add so that is converted same program is converted into addition okay, thank you